Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the number one rideshare YouTube channel in the entire world, the Rideshare Hub. My name is Dylan, and today's video, we are going over something really sad. A fake Uber driver charged for kidnapping Alabama students. This is getting out of hand. There's a lot of these things going on. Um, fortunately, there's just some bad people out there. So if you're a passenger watching this, think twice before you get into a car. And if you're a driver, this is also important to know. I know I've, I've made a few videos in the past and a couple of people say, hey, I'm a driver. I don't want to re watch this video. Why are you making a video about this? Um, it's good to know because now you know what your passengers are thinking um, when they step into your car. So before I get into that, give the video a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe <clears throat> so you never miss another video on Uber and Lyft on our channel. We're coming out with some great videos soon. You do not want to miss them. Okay, so here I'm going to get into it. Fox News. I know some of you guys don't like Fox for whatever reason, but... David Aero of Fox News, Aero, A Aero, says fake Uber driver charged with kidnapping Alabama students. That's crazy. 62-year-old Tommy Wayne Beard was arrested and charged for crimes after he pretended to be an Uber driver to pick up intoxicated women. So as a passenger, it's really important that you follow this one step. Whenever you order a ride, you always want to look up on the app whether it's Uber or for Lyft, you want to look up the license plate number and then you want to walk to the back and make sure it, it they do have the correct license plate. That's a for sure way to confirm that you do have the correct driver. Um, and as a driver to make sure you have the correct passenger because this can go both ways. You want to keep your doors locked, drive up to them and say, hey, what's your name? You never, ever, ever want to assume that you'd always have the correct passenger. Even if, you know, they're the only person around, you always want to roll down your window, keep your doors locked and say, hey, are you here for an Uber? They'll say usually yes. And then you say, okay, what's your name? They'll be like Jackie, you know, and then you have Jackie on the app. Say, all right, cool, come on in. You don't want to just unlock your door and let them in because anyone can just jump in your car and potentially kidnap you. So as you can see here, just really quickly, an Alabama man who pretended to be an Uber driver to pick up intoxicated woman was arrested and charged with new crimes on Friday. He now faces charges of first degree kidnapping, second degree kidnapping, and impersonating a transportation network service driver after the Tuscaloosa violence that found evidence of two additional victims in his home. Evidence of two additional victims in his home and on his cell phone. Tommy Wayne, 62, was arrested last March after a routine stop by police found an unconscious 22-year-old college student in the back of his vehicle nearly seven miles in the wrong direction from her home. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Wow, guys. During the March arrest, Beard told the Tuscaloosa sure, he was an Uber driver and was taking the woman home. But when police awakened the woman, she couldn't remember getting in the vehicle? What the heck? He was released from jail, so this guy's out and about. This is crazy, guys. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Do not get into a car with him, okay? He's out. He's out on bail right now, so he could easily be doing this again. It's crazy. One of the victims was discovered walking out of the woods in that part of the country. This is some absolutely crazy stuff. You really have to be careful. Be a defensive person in general. You cannot trust anybody these days. Do not get into a car unless you know it's the correct driver by looking at the license plate and matching it. And think twice, you know? Always think twice. Safety first. All right, let me know your thoughts down below. This is not a good one. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye, guys.